Hi everyone, Friday, August 19th. Welcome to Three Things with Spyglass Lending. Thank you for joining me again. This is done just for you, just for a select few real estate agents that I really wanna work with very intimately, very closely over the coming months and years. Let's get to it, what's behind me on the board. Number one, you see a slight up arrow pointing towards five and a half percent. Yeah, I don't wanna give the bad news, but this week, pretty much every day this week, the rates have ticked back up just a little bit. We're heading closer to 5.5% than we were at 5%. Yeah, there are still some programs and still some borrowers who are getting that high 4%, especially in the jumbo space for a very select few people uh, or high balance conforming. And yeah, there's some people who are trickling right around 5 or a little over 5, but it's getting closer to 5.5% as the median again. There was that big drop a couple of weeks ago and everybody remembers that, but it had a lot more to do with the banks having to sell their coupons than it did about anything else because they really do want to tick these rates back up. And why? Why is this happening? Why are we seeing it continuously tick back up or what's going to happen coming forward, moving forward? Number two, the tea leaves, right? Let's all read the tea leaves. There's two big things going out there, on out there that we all need to be paying attention to. Number one is Silicon Valley. What's going on with them? Well, if you really pay attention to the beginning part of this year, even with the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ and the S&P all having a pretty good month last month, prior to that, it was pretty devastating for all of them. All the major tech stocks, they're still down for the year. All of them are on a hiring freeze. Uh, and all of them, unfortunately, not all of them, but most of them are laying people off. They see what's coming before a lot of us see what's coming. And number two is inflation. We all think we got decent news, right? That inflation tapered off or might be cresting or going back down. The consumer price index last month, hey, it wasn't as bad as it has been the previous months, except for one thing, gasoline, oil. If you really see the price of that having dropped pretty precipitously, that's almost exclusively the reason why it feels like inflation tapered off. And we're still well above 8%. And we have to consider that moving forward that really we haven't seen it tapered off at all. And are we going to see it taper off to a significant amount back to more like 2 or 3% fast enough to stop these rates going up? Because number th this brings us to number three. Nobody, myself included, has that crystal ball, right? But if we're paying attention, and if you're paying attention to the people who really know what they're talking about, in time, we're looking more like 8 to 10% interest rates for a 30-year mortgage. I know, that's scary. That's terrible. Nobody wants to think about that, but it's more of a likelihood than not. Again, not saying <laughs> myself included has a crystal ball if this is going to happen, but it seems to be heading in that direction. It could be that way 12, 24, 36 months from now. We've already seen them double in the past six months, the interest rate. There's no reason to think that it wouldn't if inflation continues long enough. I mean, if you think about it like this, right now, <laughs> you're basically getting a negative interest rate if you're buying a house. If you're paying five, five and a half percent, but inflation is actually at eight and a half percent, you're outpacing the market. It's a damn good time to own real estate. Probably the best time to go back to all of our buyers and say, now, now is the time to make a move if you can, because Obviously, the market softened. People have seen 5, 10, and even 15% in some spots where the market softened enough and the prices have come back down. But the rates really are still around that high fours to low 5%. That's still great money right now. Historically, that's still amazing. Hit it. Hit it right now. Think about what the next six months are, Q, the end of Q3 and certainly in Q4 and maybe the beginning part of next year before all of this might explode and the recession really hits too hard, as Silicon Valley is telling us buy now. Let's work with our buyers. Let's get them pre-approved. Let's do what we need to. I appreciate you listening to me today. Thank you.